Hello everybody. So today was a big day for space engineers. They went ahead and released their source code. Um, it's hard for me to imagine the kinds of uh, bravery it takes to release your source code because that's, I mean, I do it every day, but I don't develop anything important. Source code is uh, very dirty, so it's you're showing your, the worst part of your code off to everyone. Uh, and moreover, you risk someone stealing it. So really, uh, a lot of respect to space engineers for doing that. I don't have any opinion on the code itself yet, because I haven't downloaded it or looked at it. I will. So if you want that, subscribe, stick around. I'll have those videos up next week sometime. But I do want to talk about the other thing that they did today, and that is that they released moddable upgrade blocks. This is something I've actually been waiting for. A lot of people have shown interest in the um, XPAR wedge reactor, and I'm really happy. It's been on the front of the uh, list for a while now, and it makes me happy when people like the stuff I make. But that was just a test, a proof of concept. The problem was that at the time, I literally had no way to develop a mod. There was no documentation that was up to date. It was all horrifyingly obsolete. So I made that specifically to test whether or not it was possible to create the sort of thing I wanted to create. The answer? Yeah. Yeah, you can. It's not that difficult. Uh, and what that means is that block was never intended to be popular. Uh, it was a proof of concept. So if you're wondering, why are the sides flat? Why are the textures so bad? Why is the model so simple? It was a proof of concept. I am creating an actual block system. Uh, and I expect to have it done next week, but I was finishing, uh, I, I could not get any further until they released moddable upgrade blocks. Because the whole point of the modular energy system is moddable upgrade blocks. Uh, you, you want to be able to combine things in a lot of different ways, and you need to have upgrade blocks to do that, because stacking reactors doesn't take you very far. It's stacking reactors with upgrade blocks that really makes makes things pop. So I'm just kind of testing out various shapes of topologies and things that I want to do. And uh, I think that it's going to work out well. The final version of this will have a lot more uh, reactors in it and some batteries and stuff. I was a little bit disappointed. It doesn't appear that batteries can be mod modified. No upgrade blocks for batteries. That's a huge issue for me because batteries have several stats that it would be awesome to be able to modify. Unfortunate. We'll see how that develops in the future. But reactors can be modified. I really hope reactors can have their efficiency improved. I, I kind of think they can't. If they can't, then that means the only thing that, modify, that, that the upgrade blocks will do is make the power better. Um, which, that, you know, the highest power output, that's a good thing to mod, but I don't want every mod block to be that, so I'll have to figure out if there's a better way to do it or what. Um, so I'll just go ahead and give you a tour of the blocks I plan to create. First off, batteries. I plan to replace the core battery block with uh, a, a better version, just because the core battery block is so crap. So that would create a one by one by one large ship block. It would also be one by one by one on the small ship, but it would be significantly weaker than the current small ship vanilla battery. Or, it would just be significantly smaller. Uh, these batteries would be a lot better than the vanilla batteries because the vanilla batteries are awful. Just awful. I would also create a larger battery, which would be a 3 by 3 battery for the large ship, which has a walkway in it, so that you can walk through. And the 3 by 3 battery for the small ship, which would have a T-junction in it so that you could use it as a conduit. Um, I think that batteries can have T-junctions. If not, I'll have to rethink that, but I think they can. In both cases, there would be a focus on making these things uh, uh, really cool looking. So in, in these cases, we're talking about glowing disks. These batteries are not, not mechanical monsters. They are very, you know, futuristic 1970s space sort of thing. I'm also going to have three reactors. This large reactor is the same size as the current wedge reactor, but it's not the wedge reactor. Um, it's got some other features. 
uh, and that includes upgrade block compatibility. I'm going to have a medium reactor, which is 2x2x1, two by two by and I'm going to have a small reactor, which is 1x2x1. One one. The small reactor's big advantage over the current small reactor is that it has a lot of ports attached to it. Using this many ports means that you never have to worry about accidentally locking yourself out of your power supply, and, you know, when you build that small ship in survival and you realize you can't put any uranium in, this this will really help with that. But it's, all, it's also the smallest and uh, least effective. I'm going to have a couple of up upgrade blocks. I'm going to have a 1x3 upgrade block, I think, which fits nicely along here and here, so that you can upgrade these and then still have empty space here. And that'll be useful for packing. You can stick stuff in that empty space. I'm also going to have either a 1x3 or 1x2, I haven't decided yet, uh, stick block, which uh, which is perfect for fitting in here, or maybe pointing backwards, or things like that. I'm also going to have a 2x2 two two upgrade block that looks like this. And this 2x2 two two upgrade block will have a couple of connectors here and here and here. So you can stick it on in a variety of ways. So if these guys are getting, getting connected here, then these guys could be connected like this. Or pointed out to the sides, like this. Or any number of other ways. And I think that these are fundamentally a good combination of shapes and forms. Um, the only thing I'm unhappy with is that the batteries can't be upgraded because I was really, really, really depending on that to make my batteries good. As it is, I'm just going to cut the number of batteries I released down from four down to three, two, two and a half, uh, and I'm going to take away all of the upgrade modules I had planned for them. The other option is to release nine batteries, which would be the, the, the equivalent of having the upgraded version of each battery. Either way, pain in the ass. Um, thanks for sticking around and listening for this long. That is the upgrade plan. I won't be changing the core wedge reactor mod. That is going to stay the same forever. I might change the visuals a little bit, but I won't be changing anything else. And uh, this will be a completely different mod. And I think that you'll enjoy it. I hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, if you wanted to help out, I am always on the lookout for people who do texturing work or modeling work. Um, and uh, mine is not so great. So I'm always happy to piggyback off of people more talented or skilled than I am. If not, I'll make it all myself. Should be done next week.